Thank you very much, dear Secretary Austin, your colleagues. Thank you very much, General Kavolia. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, and uh, first of all, uh, thank you, American people, President Biden, and bipartisan support. We are very thankful for all those support from the United States that has been done for Ukraine from the very beginning of this war. Thank you so much, and uh, thank you for last our meeting in Brussels on the platform of Ukraine NATO Council. Thank you so much. That was an opportunity to make a um, direct dialogue with the ministers of defense of our allies. And after that, I know that it was a very good meeting on the level of ministers, defense minister on G7+. Plus. Thank you so much. According to our uh, last dialogue, I think, very positive dialogue with the President Biden by phone. We discussed a lot of things, and uh, by the way, thanks for the last package supporting our uh, soldiers. And, uh, and we discussed a lot of important things about victory plan, about preparing for winter, it's our air defense capabilities, how, how to strengthen all this and we discuss also some details which will be i think uh, sorry out of cam about next packages which are crucial for us especially now this challenging winter pe period so and we discuss all this with the president i want to continue maybe we will have some results no i'm sure that we will have some important results you're very welcome again thank you uh, Mr. President, uh, it's great to see you again. Uh, thanks for hosting us here in Kyiv. I'm honored to be back in Ukraine for my fourth visit as Secretary of Defense. And under your leadership, Ukraine has fought valiantly to defend its democracy, its sovereignty, and its citizens. The United States understands the stakes here, Mr. President. The outcome of Putin's war of choice matters to us and to the entire world. And that's why I continue to convene the Ukraine Defense Contact Group. And you saw the contact group firsthand last month at Ramstein Air Base. We've moved heaven and earth to help Ukraine, and that inspiring coalition of more than 50 allies and partners continues to stand united to provide your country with the ass security assistance that Ukraine needs to prevail. Under President Biden's leadership, the United States remains committed to keeping up this support. And so I'm pleased to announce today the commitment of a $400 million presidential drawdown package to provide your forces with additional munitions, armored vehicles, and anti-tank weapons. While the focus on Ukraine's immediate needs uh, goes on, we're also committed to sustaining your support uh, as pledged in the bilateral security agreement that you and President Biden signed in July. So I look forward to a good discussion today, Mr. President, and to hearing your thoughts on how to further strengthen the, our strategic partnership. Thank you again, Mr. President, and it's great to be here with you. Thank you. Thank you, Brett. <coughs> Thank you.